I have a question <clears throat> that's somewhat genuine, but <laughs> but halfway not because I kind I feel like I I know the energy behind comments like these, um, but for some reason, like. Anytime I, I do a, a video about the black experience or something like this is something that black people go through. Uh, systemically, black people go through. Really, any video. It doesn't have to be mine. It, it can be any any video in the fucking world. There will always be a white person. Not just a white person, but usually white people, uh, a white person commenting. You know, um... Black people can be, black people can be racist too, um, which um, if we're going by the definition of racism, that includes uh, systemic um, effects. No, um, <laughs> black people can be prejudiced, um, but there's always so like have we have we really? My question, my question is, have we really indeed forgotten? And is there like a um? Is there a genuine concern that we have forgotten that no matter what your race is, you can be an asshole? Is there a genuine concern? I don't think there is. Um, is there a genuine concern that, that we have forgotten that you can be a bully even if you're, um, even if you're black? Sometimes black people will do that too. They'll be like, black people can be really awful to white people too. To which I'm like, do you, is the, do you get like, is there like a point system or something that like, you, do you get a cookie or something every time you stand up for, for white people in a space that is literally set aside to speak about the issues of marginalized people? Do, do you get like a, a, a gold star, a sticker, a Chuck E. Cheese token, something? Um... <laughs> Is there a genuine concern that we've forgotten that anyone can be a bully? <clears throat> Cause if so, okay, fine. <laughs> let's let's reiterate and let's remind everyone that uh, you can be you can you can you can be a bully uh, no matter who you are. Um, and uh, just to just to make a point. Let me center um, first a white person's experience, a white friend's experience, and then uh, my mixed race light skin experience, uh, the, some singular experiences, if you will. Uh, trust me, th th there's a point. Um, one of my best friends, uh, who is white, literally um, the one of the best people I know, literally like top five people, best people that I know, was mercil mercilessly bullied. Uh, by two um, black girls, uh, mercilessly, the, the, like, by these two awful fucking, uh, these two, these, these women who were, who were fucking awful to her. Um, when I was young, um, my biggest childhood bully was a, a dark skinned, uh, girl, um, who, um, she was just, she was really fucking awful to me, and she made me feel really bad about myself, uh, because I, um, she had a perm, uh, she had her hair straightened, and, uh, I had, um, curly hair, and, uh, she made me feel bad, uh, for that, and, um, she, she literally, like, she pushed me down the stairs, um, like, I could have broken my neck because of this fucking cunt, um, and, um, <clears throat> So, um, so yeah, I'm like, even though I am light skinned and, and privileged, uh, because I have light skin, um, I, my biggest bully as a childhood was a black, um, girl. Um, now those things being said, our individual experiences with those cunts have nothing to do with the bigger systemic picture. <laughs> of what marginalized communities, such as the black community, according to where you fall on the privilege ladder, it has nothing to do with what a community systemically goes through. Okay? The fact that my biggest bully, when I was a child, um, 
was a black woman, was a black girl, a dark skinned black girl has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that colorism is alive and well in not only just, not just the world, but the black community and that dark skinned black women are constantly put down and told that they are not desirable and that people that look like me are tokenized and um, usually picked to represent black women on screen uh, because we because of our proximity to whiteness. My individual experience with awful people that happen to fall to technically fall under the privilege ladder below me has absolutely nothing to do with the bigger systemic issues. If you're really, really that concerned that we have forgotten that you can be an absolute tool of a person, no matter what you look like, then fine. Here's the reminder. I'm saying it. Here's the reminder that no matter who you are, you can be an absolute asshole. There it is. No matter who you are, you can be a bully. And to be fair, guys, you can get bullied for literally anything. Like, especially as a, especially as kids. Like, in any situation, you walk in and you're different in any type of way, no matter what. Because, at the, especially if we're talking about childhood shit, especially at that age, like, we have no con, we have little to no concept of privilege. And, and, and we're just fucking monsters. And so you're liable to get bullied for basically anything when you're a certain age. If we are really concerned that we have forgotten that, um, like, I don't know, like, do you think, do, do, do some of you all think that, um, that being black is a pass to be awful? Is that what you, is that what you think? Because it's not. If you need to hear somebody say that it's not, then fine, it's not. But centering your individual experiences that have nothing to do with systemic issues that marginalized communities face is selfish and literally does absolutely nothing to further the conversation at hand except maybe make you a laughing stock. I've always found that just so strange. Maybe you needed somebody to explain it to you. Maybe you needed to hear somebody not white say out loud that you can be an asshole no matter what race you are and that it is wrong to be a fucking ass, to be a fucking cunt to somebody for any, any reason that does not warrant it, including their outward appearance. If you needed to hear someone not white say that, then here, you're fucking welcome. But censoring, like even I, as a black person, would not center my individual experiences as a mixed race girl getting bullied by a dark skinned girl. I would never center that in a discussion about systemic black issues, me. I would never fucking do that. And by the way, like when I've, I've found that when mixed people get dragged, sometimes in the black community, very often, sometimes it very often, sometimes it's because of mixed people doing that. Trying to veer the conversation away from them or people that they have proximity to. Trying to veer the conversation away from accountability towards people that you happen to have proximity to and thus might feel uncomfortable with the conversation. Don't do that. Like I said, if you're truly, truly worried that we have just, that people have just given people of color or particularly black people a past to just be awful because we are a marginalized community. If that is truly your concern, then here, I've said it. It's no excuse to be a cunt to somebody. 
But somehow I feel like the reason that y'all bring this up is much more selfish and self-centered than that. Um, <laughs> and I guess it, it feels more validating to, 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 to see yourself as a victim than possibly uh, someone who benefits from a fucked up system. Maybe. Uh, yeah. That is all for now.